Bomb acquired. Kill confirmed. We're in the lead. Oh, did you get up? Kill confirmed. Excellent job, ghosts. <laughs> We're ready for the next round. <laughs> oh. 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 I just watched that one jump in front of him watch. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Search and rescue. Mm -hmm. I think it shaved off his beard. Only, 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 only use me, bloody. What's up, guys? Only use me, blade. And this is a kill confirmed on the Call of Duty Ghost sniping only, getting them tags, getting them maniacs. Now. Playing Call of Duty, it's all about time. It's It really sucks, though, because, like, if you, like, work a regular job and you, like, get off, you want to come home and relax, too bad, because there's probably going to be some douchebags on. But during the day, if you can get in there and play, you can probably find some noobs to stab. But for the most part, the, the tryhards have took over. Let's get our game back. Anyways, so if Call of Duty is not treating you right and you want to listen to something while you game, while you play either Call of Duty or something else, the back of cast is the shit. Uh, shameless plug for my own thing. Um, I'm going to put links in the description to so all the different places. I think there's like five different places like iHeart, Radio, iTunes, Spreaker, iPorn. Just a lot of different places that you can listen to the Backy Cast. Now, the games that were playing, the Call of Duty was pissing me off today. Don't want to, And I was like really like negative, balled up, horrible, horrible energy. Just, just pissed off. Like literally I was so mad that I was changing my view on the death penalty because I wish death upon people. So I was like, dude, you know what, bro? Like, okay, it's not that bad. It's a video game. Chillax. Take a walk. Take a walk, Blade. So I went outside and I took a walk to my local 7-Eleven. And I noticed that I saw people. And I was like, that's kind of unfair. I'm seeing you. And the first impression or the impression that I have of you is just you, like, walking to your mailbox. Or you walking out of the store. I'm like, that's the impression that I have of you, and you're not even knowing. You're not even knowing you're taking a mental picture. I've been watching the show The Wire lately, and I used to watch, I watched The Wire back in the day, like when it was like on TV, and then um, like off and on, off and on, and then I decided to marathon it recently, and I've been marathoning it. And one thing, two things, the whole to make a phone call on that show is hell. Like just to make a fucking phone call or to communicate with people is so fucking complicated. Because no one talks on the phone, they have to talk on pay phones, and they have to redirect, and then they have to, like, send in code, and all, all this crazy shit with numbers, right? And the second thing is, is that on that show, and as along with any other crime show, there's always this thing where they, they have people with surveillance, and they take pictures of them. Now, imagine you going into a store. Like, let's say you go into 7-Eleven, and you're going to get a Slurpee, okay? You're going to get a Slurpee and maybe a payday bar. So you go in there, you buy the shit, and you walk out. And you're like sipping the drink and you're just walking like not, not thinking about anything. Not realizing that there could be someone taking a picture of you and that can go in the file. And that's the that's the picture that they use forever if they ever built a case against you. Now, I'm not a criminal, okay? But ever since I thought about this as I was sitting there marathoning the wire, I was thinking this, man. Every time I walk out of a store... Or walk out of a place. What I do is I make the this. I wish you can see it right now. It's like a Down syndrome, sloppy, confused face. I make this face strictly on the possible potential of someone's taking a picture of me. Someone's building a RICO case against me. And if I ever get indicted on anything, I'm not taking a plea bargain. I'm taking it to trial. I know I can get more time. I know the penalty could be heftier instead of just taking the trial. Not Legally, it's not the smartest thing ever. But I just imagine someday being in a courtroom and they're bringing all these charges against me, right? And they're like, we saw you walking out of 7-Eleven. Pull up the picture. And they pull up the picture and people laugh. And I know that sounds like extravagant or ridiculous, but like... That's what it's all about. It's like, you can be all serious. Because most of the time when you, people are walking out, you know, to the mailbox, they're all serious. They're walking out the store, they're all serious. But, like, how about this? Maybe I won't, like, go as far as try to get indicted on RICO charges in order to make a jury laugh. Like, that's a little far-fetched. But the next time you have to get your license renewed, try to, like, try to look like you have Down syndrome in the licensing picture. That'd be hilarious. 
Just don't take it that seriously, guys. Like, I was taking the Call of Duty so seriously today, and then I took a walk and kind of made myself giggle and realign and, and realize that it's it's not that bad. So, peace and buckers.